What you guys got another video here for you today i'm going to show you how you can find hidden secrets on your pc which it holds against you so let's take a look at our drive here so we've got loads of drives on our computer but most people don't realize that when you open up say a drive like this and you actually delete one of these files that this is not actually deleting it uh, from your computer it can still be recovered and a lot of these drives that people throw out in old computers, people can use data recovery techniques to recover all that sensitive data. Now, if this could be documents, photos, or any other sensitive data that is left on that drive, even if it was a year ago that you deleted that file from that drive, it can still be recovered. And this is really important to understand because most people will just throw out USB flash drives or hard drives or old computers not knowing that that data can be easily recovered by, say, cyber criminals. So I'm going to show you a couple of simple techniques what you can use to scrub these drives clean and free up all of the data on that drive so they can't recover it. Now, you can use something free like Disk Wipe. It's been out for quite a while, but you can see here Disk Wipe is a free portable Windows application for permanent volume data uh, destruction. It's basically going to erase, secure erase, all of the data on that drive. Now, I'm going to show you here exactly how you can see data on that drive and how we can quickly erase it. So, going down here, you'll see features of Disk Wipe and what it can do. It's going to be able to permanently uh, wipe sensitive data on partitions and disk volumes. It's a portal application, which means you don't need to install it. On the computer so that is a really good thing there it also uses many different shredding algorithms which can obviously uh, help uh, stop data from being recovered so these data shredding algorithms that are used are used by the military also by the ministry of defense governments police forces and other uh, companies like that to stop people from being able to recover data on the drives now we're not talking about just going outside and drilling holes in your drive. Maybe you want to use the drive again. And if you do, then obviously destroying the drive is not an option. So this supports all Windows file systems, NTFS, FAT32 FAT as well. And again, it works on USB sticks, SD cards, and other portable uh, memory devices as well. So let's take a look at the actual program and how we can get it on the system. I'm going to go up to the top here and hit download. So here we can see there is the operating systems that it supports. Now there is other options available out there. I just wanted to show you this one because I thought it's something different. So let's go ahead and click here to download. And there's the actual file right here. So let me go ahead and click on this file. So right here, you can see we have our drives listed here. So we're going to be concentrating on this one here, which is our capture drive. And this is a USB flash drive. And you can see it's also showing you a picture of a USB flash drive or SD card. So we'll be using this here. Now, once we get here, you're going to see it will give you the serial number and a bunch of information like FAT32 and other information here. And you can go and pull this down here to read all this information. What's really important about this is going to the view data. Now, when you click on view data, this is going to give you all of the information that will be stored on this drive. And you can see there's tons of it here. Now, what we want to do is be able to zero this drive so there's no data on here and there's no data be recovered from that drive. And that's why it's important to basically secure erase the drive itself. And that's what our aim is. So let me go ahead and now close this off here. And what you can do here is we're going to go into the settings pane. OK, so inside the settings pane, you can see skip wizard uh, pages. And I don't want to skip any of this stuff because we want to take a look at the actual options available for us. So I don't want to skip confirmation or erasing patterns or anything like that. Now, on the thread priority, this is going to basically tell us uh, what we want to do here, whether we want to run this at normal priority or higher priority or highest. Now, remember, if you want to use your computer, Setting this to the highest is probably going to use quite a lot of system resources to give disk wipe a lot of your priority. I'm just going to set this to higher 
and then we're going to click on uh, OK. But I'm going to leave the volume as blank because that's what we want to do as well. We'll leave this as blank so we know it is blank. Once we click OK here, we can now uh, go to our drive and we can now click on Wipe Disk. And once we're here, you can see it's saying File System. We can choose our file system. I'm going to choose NTFS. We can now move on to the next section. Now, erasing pattern, this is where you can choose what um, pattern you want to use. Now, obviously, the more extreme patterns are going to take the longer time to uh, complete. So, for instance, you can see here the British HMG. This is the free passes. It's very slow, and this will take quite a while. Now, obviously, this is going to add a lot of wear and tear onto the drive as well, uh, the more uh, overwrites that you do on this drive. Now, you can see here Peter Gutterman has got a 35 pass, extremely slow, and this will take a long time. And you can see here also we have the DOD, which is a Department of Defense, which is used by the military. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the one pass because of the quickness of it. But this is not really a secure erase of that data, really. It's just going to do one quick uh, pass and give it zeros. But really, you should be thinking about, uh, you know, if you're getting rid of the drive to someone, you should be thinking something like the uh, US Department of Defense. This one here, the free passes. This is uh, quite slow, and it will take a fair bit of time. But we're just going to do this one here for quickness. Let's go ahead and click Next. And you can see here it's given us a warning sign. All the data on your drive, uh, this is removable disk D, and it'll say will be destroyed. Type erase all, and you can see here it's going to erase that data once we finish typing this out. So all you need to do here is put erase, and then all, like so, and then click finish. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to format and secure erase the drive? I'm going to say yes here. And this will then start to erase the data on that drive. Now, how long does this take? Well, it depends on the size of the drive and what pattern you choose to shred the data on that drive. So the more complex uh, option you choose and the bigger drives that you're using will take quite some time to complete. Now, some people may say you may as well just go outside and drill some holes in it. But this is for people that want to continue to use the drive. So using a zero uh, wipe on this drive should be plenty good enough for most people and uh, stop people from being able to recover it with some sort of data recovery software from their home. Uh, but again, if you did it from an industry standard, uh, they would be able to probably still be able to recover the data on that using much more advanced systems. Now, another thing to take into account is some people may think that this is great for solid state drives or NVMe drives and things like that. This is not how you erase data on those drives. I've shown people how to do that before in previous videos. If you want to see an updated video on that, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you. This is for uh, USB flash drives, SD cards and mechanical drives and things like that. So. We'll just let this finish and we'll come back and we'll take a look at the view data section to see whether there's any data left. You can see it's still going here. And if we take a look at the time elapsed already, it's one hour and 45 minutes. Also down here, we can see the speed that it's uh, erasing that data. And you can see the completed amount of data that's erased is so far 16.13 gigabytes of 28.67 gigabytes. And this is just a USB flash drive. This will give you some sort of idea of how long this task will take if you're just using the one pass zero method. Now, again, if you're using a free pass method, this would add a, a considerable amount of time to scrub and erase the data on that drive. Now, once that's completed, you should see zero amounts of data on that drive. There will be no data on the drive because it's been erased with zeros, just like you can see here. So. All you need to do is just allow that to complete. Now, I've stopped this a little bit early, as you can see here, uh, at 16.52 of 28.67. But if you let that run, it will look something like this for the whole of that drive. Now, just to be clear, the only reason you'll need to do this is if you are selling the computer or you're giving the computer away or you're taking it to a recycle center or you're taking it to your local tip to get rid of it. 
You should not be having to do any of this stuff unless you're doing any of those things. Now, it's important that you do scrub the data on the drive if you are giving it away like that, because obviously people can use data recovery software to quite easily recover the data on those drives, even after it's been formatted. And it will stay there for quite some time. Now, again, you won't need to do this if you are keeping the drive for yourself. It does put wear and tear on the drive, and you shouldn't be using this method if you have got an SSD or an NVMe. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use. If it has, then give the video a thumbs up, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who will join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.